There is an intriguing story in the Bible. A story about a time God asked a prophet to marry an harlot and have children of whoredom. That prophet is Prophet Hosea. In the Bible, a prophet is a divinely chosen individual appointed to convey messages, insights, and revelations from God to the people. They are called proclaimer or preachers. These figures are prominent throughout the Old and New Testaments of the Bible, playing crucial roles in guiding, warning, and encouraging the faithful. Sometimes God uses the life of His prophets to tell a story or convey His messages to His people, and one of such examples is the story of Hosea's marriage to an harlot. Why did God ask Hosea to marry and harlot? What message was God trying to convey? Let us uncover the secrets to all these and more as we dive deeper. First, let us look at the story. It is found in the book of Hosea, a dramatic and symbolic narrative of God's enduring love for his unfaithful people, using the prophet's tumultuous marriage to illustrate divine forgiveness and the promise of eventual restoration. The book of Hosea is a collection of some 25 years of his preaching and writing. Hosea, a prophet in ancient Israel, received a unique calling from God. He was called to speak on God's behalf during the reign of one of Israel's worst kings, Jeroboam I.I. The nation was descending into chaos, the Assyrian Empire decimated Israel. See the story in 2 Kings. And Hosea had seen all of this coming. God instructed Hosea to marry Gomer, a woman known for her harlotry, as a symbolic act. Despite the unconventional union, Hosea obeyed and had children with Gomer Jezreel, Lo Rohama, and Lo Ami, each name carrying significant meaning. As time passed, Gomer strayed, engaging in harlotry and mirroring Israel's unfaithfulness to God. Hosea's personal struggles became a living parable of God's relationship with his people. The names of Hosea's children foretold God's impending judgment, withdrawal of mercy, and disownment. Which, of course, though devastating, it will be for a while because the next moment, God is heartbroken. And then he says that he's moved by his mercy and compassion, and he's going to forgive the son that he loves. Further into the story, Goma returns to her lovers abandoning her husband Hosea and gets into trouble with them. They make her their slave again. Hosea sought out Gomer even after her descent into slavery, reflecting God's unwavering love and forgiveness. The narrative serves as a vivid illustration of God's call for repentance, the consequences of unfaithfulness, and the possibility of renewal and reconciliation. Hosea's life became a prophetic message, urging Israel to return to God and forsake idolatry. The story of Hosea remains a timeless reminder of divine love's persistence and the hope found in repentance and restoration. Symbolism of the story The very premise of Hosea's marriage to Gomer carries symbolic weight. It's all a prophetic symbol telling the story of God's relationship to Israel. Gomer's harlotry becomes a metaphor for Israel's spiritual unfaithfulness. The characters and their actions serve as living symbols, representing God and His people. So God has been like a faithful husband to Israel. He rescued them out of slavery like Hosea took his wife at first out of whoredom. He brought them to Mount Sinai, where he entered into a covenant, like a marriage between husband and wife. He asked them to be faithful to him alone. But then he brought Israel into the promised land, and they took all the abundance that he gave them, and they dedicated it to the worship of Baal, the Canaanite god. And so God has a very good reason. He could end the covenant and divorce Israel, and he thinks about doing so, but instead he says that he's going to pursue Israel again and renew his covenant with them. God did that purely because of his own love, compassion, and faithfulness. What all this means, however, is that the consequences for Israel's rebellion will be imminent defeat by other nations and exile like how Gomar was taken captive again by her lovers. But in the future God will restore them back again like how Hosea went to get his wife Gomar back and to pay her debts. 
One day Israel will once again repent and come back to worship their true God. God chose this story through the hand of his obedient and faithful prophet to portray who he is and how he sees the people of Israel, even as we see in the book of Hosea chapter 1 verse 2 which says, The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms, for the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. And also in the book of Hosea chapter 3 verse 1. Then said the Lord unto me, Go yet, love a woman beloved of her friend, yet an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord toward the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love flagons of wine. So this beautiful story exists today for us to learn from it, to carefully examine and to ensure that we do not fall into the same error and to know more about our God, the God we serve. It should also serve as a warning for us too. Let us look at some of the key elements in the story more deeply to see what we can learn from them. We will look at three. 1. Symbolism of Harlotry The harlotry symbolizes the unfaithfulness and idolatry of Israel. It's a metaphor for the people turning away from God and engaging in spiritual adultery by following other gods. The act of harlotry represents the turning away from God and embracing other gods, akin to spiritual adultery. In Hosea 1 verse 2, God instructs the prophet Hosea to marry a woman of harlotry as a living illustration of Israel's unfaithfulness. The relationship between Hosea and Gomer serves as a tangible representation of God's enduring love, despite the unfaithfulness of his people. The idea of spiritual harlotry goes beyond its history it's relevant today in moral and ethical matters. It makes us think about how people might compromise their values or go off the right path. The key message is to stay faithful to God, despite temptations from the world. 2. Hosea's Unconditional Love Hosea's choice to marry a harlot carries profound symbolism, illustrating God's unwavering love for his people. This act serves as a powerful reflection of divine love that endures even in the face of betrayal, mirroring God's relentless pursuit of those who may stray from Him. The biblical book of Hosea provides the narrative backdrop for this concept. In Hosea 1 verse 2, God instructs the prophet Hosea to take Gomer, a woman associated with harlotry, as his wife. This unconventional marriage becomes a living metaphor emphasizing God's commitment to Israel despite their unfaithfulness. The New Testament echoes this theme in various passages, underscoring the overarching nature of God's unconditional love. Romans 8 verse 38 to 39 emphasizes that nothing can separate us believers from the love of God, showcasing its steadfast and enduring nature. Similarly, in 1 John chapter 4 verse 10, the Apostle John highlights God's love as the foundation of salvation, irrespective of our human shortcomings. The understanding Hosea's unconditional love is meant to profoundly influence our perception of God and our interactions with others as a believer. It serves as a reminder that God's love surpasses human failings and remains constant, encouraging believers to embody a similar unconditional love in their relationships with others. 3. Redemptive Element The redemptive element in Hosea's narrative unfolds through Hosea's profound love and commitment. After his wife, Gomer, falls into slavery due to her choices, Hosea takes a redemptive action by buying her back. This act symbolizes God's overarching desire to rescue and restore his people, illustrating that redemption is possible even after straying from him. The biblical account of Hosea's redemptive love is found in Hosea 3 verse 1 to 3, where Hosea is instructed by God to go and show love to his wife again, even though she had turned to other lovers. Hosea redeems Gomer by paying a price for her, emphasizing God's redemptive nature and his willingness to restore those who have wandered away. The redemptive theme is a cornerstone of our Christian belief, echoed in various New Testament passages. Ephesians 1 verse 7 highlights that in Christ believers have redemption through His blood, emphasizing the forgiveness of sins as a redemptive act. Who gave Himself for us, 
that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. This verse emphasizes the redemptive purpose of Christ, who gave himself to redeem believers from all lawlessness. Understanding the redemptive element is crucial for Christians, as it signifies the transformative power of God's love. The redemptive act of buying back Gomer mirrors the salvation Christians receive through Christ. It emphasizes that, despite human shortcomings, God's redemptive love is capable of rescuing, forgiving, and restoring individuals. As believers, recognizing this redemptive element should inspire gratitude, humility, and a commitment to live in accordance with the transformative grace offered through Christ's sacrifice because this is very essential. Throughout the Bible, God frequently employs human experiences as powerful vessels to convey divine messages. The narratives of individuals, with their struggles, triumphs, and relationships, serve as living parables that unfold the story of God's love, grace, and redemption. Joseph's life is marked by betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, yet it becomes a living parable of God's sovereignty and redemptive plan. Despite the hardships Joseph faced, God orchestrated events to ultimately bring about the salvation of many, including his own family. Another example is the life of David, as depicted in the Psalms. David's raw and honest expressions of joy, sorrow, repentance, and praise serve as a rich tapestry through which God communicates the depth of his relationship with humanity. The narrative of David's life illustrates the complexities of human character and the transformative power of seeking God's forgiveness. As Christians, our response to these living parables should involve a deep engagement with the narratives, recognizing the timeless truths they convey. This engagement includes a commitment to learning from the experiences of biblical figures, understanding the broader context of God's redemptive plan, and seeking personal application in our lives. Moreover, our response involves a posture of humility and openness to God's guidance. Just as the characters in the Bible experienced growth and transformation through their journeys, we too should be willing to undergo spiritual maturation as we glean insights from these living parables. Most importantly, our response as Christians should be one of gratitude for the richness of God's Word, a desire for spiritual growth, and a commitment to applying the timeless lessons embedded in these narratives to our daily lives. Embracing the profound messages within the human experiences recorded in the Bible enables us to deepen our understanding of God's love, grace, and redemptive work in the world. Hosea's obedience in an unconventional journey as a lesson to believers. You know sometimes we can get certain unconventional instructions from God like a testimony from a lady. I don't remember how it goes but she heard God say go lock the front door a place that is meant to be open for customers to come in. She obeyed reluctant, and something led to another and the next thing bullets came flying in through the windows. But locking the doors prevented the damage. Hosea's obedience to God's unconventional instruction to marry a harlot carries significant meaning for us, underscoring the importance of obedience to God's directives. In this story, God's command challenged Hosea to go beyond societal norms, highlighting the critical role of obedience in fulfilling God's purposes. Hosea's obedience illustrates that God's instructions may not always align with conventional wisdom or societal expectations. This is quite important to realize and that similarly we are called to trust and obey God even when His guidance seems unconventional or challenges prevailing norms. This emphasizes that obedience is not merely about adhering to established patterns, but about aligning one's actions with God's divine plan. The story of Hosea also communicates the depth of God's redemptive love. Despite the unconventional circumstances, Hosea's obedience becomes a living illustration of God's commitment to redeem and restore his people. This reminds us as believers that our obedience can be a powerful testimony, reflecting God's love and redemptive work to those around us. Furthermore, Hosea's obedience serves as a lesson in perseverance and faithfulness. Despite the challenges and potential hardships, Hosea remained obedient to God's command. 
This highlights the enduring nature of obedience, encouraging believers to remain steadfast in following God's instructions, even when faced with difficulties or uncertainties. What are some of the benefits? Following God in unconventional leadings can yield various benefits for us. 1. Deeper trust and dependence. Embracing unconventional paths fosters a deeper reliance on God's wisdom and guidance, nurturing a profound trust in His plans, even when they diverge from societal expectations. Sometimes especially when we see the end result. 2. Spiritual growth. Stepping into unconventional territories often requires reliance on God's strength and understanding, leading to personal and spiritual growth as we navigate unfamiliar and challenging circumstances. 3. Witness to God's sovereignty. Obedience in unconventional situations becomes a powerful testimony to God's sovereignty. It showcases his ability to work beyond human understanding, demonstrating that his ways are truly higher than our ways. 4. Demonstration of Faith Following God in unconventional leadings is an act of faith, illustrating a willingness to trust and obey God even when it may seem counterintuitive. This demonstration of faith becomes an inspiration to others. 5. Participation in God's Redemptive Plan just as Hosea's obedience played a role in God's redemptive plan, believers participating in unconventional leadings may contribute to God's larger purposes, playing a unique part in the unfolding of His divine narrative. Check it, everyone on of God's prophet that declared God's message all had one unconventional instruction they had to follow whether in their diet or sleep pattern or sacrificing their son or building an ark and many more. Unconventional instructions are a part of our dealings with God, and it will especially come to you if you really want to be a great part of God's plan. 6. Cultivation of Humility Within Us Obedience in unconventional situations often requires humility, acknowledging that God's ways surpass human understanding. This humility fosters a deeper connection with God and a recognition of His infinite wisdom. 7 greater impact on others. Following God in unconventional paths may allow believers to impact others in unexpected ways. The authenticity of obedient living, especially in unconventional circumstances, can resonate deeply with those seeking spiritual truth. 8. Alignment with God's will. Obedience, even in unconventional leadings, aligns believers with God's will. It positions them to experience the fullness of God's plan and blessings as they follow His guidance with open hearts. In essence, embracing unconventional leadings in obedience to God opens the door to a richer, more purposeful spiritual journey, fostering growth, humility, and participation in God's overarching plan for redemption and transformation. Conclusion in a nutshell, Hosea's story is like a captivating journey, urging us believers to dive into the depths of God's forgiveness and transformative love. The narrative skillfully blends history with relatable examples from the Bible, showing us the ups and downs of unfaithfulness and the incredible way God redeems. Hosea's unique obedience becomes this powerful illustration of the intricate dance between God and us, pushing us to reflect on our own faith journey. As the story unfolds, it's like an open invitation for us to connect Hosea's experiences with our own. The talk about the perks of following God in unconventional paths reminds us of the potential for personal growth, a stronger trust in God, and a chance to actively be part of God's amazing plan. It's not just about following rules, it's about a real transformation, making us more humble, strengthening our faith and influencing others in a positive way. So, to wrap it up, the conclusion captures all these rich lessons from Hosea's life. It echoes with us in our everyday struggles, emphasizing the timeless themes of God's love, redemption, and the incredible impact that comes with saying yes to God, inspiring us to journey forward with trust, humility, and a deep commitment to God's awesome plan.